How to create a Google Drawing and the basic features of Google Drawing. First of all, I'm in my Google Drive right now, and to create a Google Drawing, I'm going to click on Create. And then I go down to Drawing. Of course, when I'm in here, I would title it and I would share it up here. This is all similar to all Google tools. The great thing about Google Drawing is that uh, it's, a, it's a blank canvas. It's a, like a poster board, but digital. So a major feature, and it's already popped up over here, is the research tool. And that's actually under tools. You can go to research, and it would pull that up. I can search for anything on Google through this research bar, and it pops up right in here. A major thing that we'll often add to a Google Drawing would be an image. So I'm going to click on image right now, and I can search for, let's just say, cats. And here are all these cute cats. People love cats for some reason. Um, under here, where that little button is, that little triangle, gives us some different access to types of licensing. And we always want to look at our students and say, hey, if you can, we want to try and use free use share, modify, or even use that commercially. So these would be images that are really, uh, we're allowed to use. So um, that's, a, that's a great feature right in the Google Drawing tool. Now if I want to take this image of this cat and I want to put it into my drawing, I can simply click on it and drag it in. And it's going to create that image for me. Okay. Also, what I'd like to point out here is that it also gives me a link to that website where that might be. So I'm going to click on that and I can go right to Wikipedia and see, hey, that, that was a shared image in Wikipedia. All right, other major features in here. Under the um, insert, we can insert an image this way too if we want to bring it in from our desktop or Google Drive, someplace we've stored it already. Also under insert, Word Art. And this kind of is something similar to Microsoft Word. And we can, we can use creative text here. Last thing that I'm going to show you guys that might be a little bit different than any other Google tool would be under the um, download as. And we can actually take this image and we can turn, I mean, this, this drawing and turn it into an image, a PNG file or, P, or, or a um, JPEG file, JPG. All right. Last little feature. Right now I have a transparent background. If I do a right click or if I do a control click on my uh, mouse, I'm going to pull up background. And this is where I can change the color of the background. And there it is. I've got a blue background now. So those are the major features of Google Drawing. Have fun. Enjoy Google Drawing and getting rid of those poster boards and turning them into digital poster boards.